Surrogate Interaction was designed for manipulating domain objects with many and rich attributes in graphical applications. In this example, we see a scatterplot visualization for a car data set where each individual point is also a bar chart showing additional data about each car. Instead of interacting directly with the visualization, the user can interact with a special surrogate representing the objects. Here we see the user utilizing the surrogate to change the size of the bar charts, the color mapping, and the number and mapping of individual bars in the charts. A surrogate palette allows the user to access other aspects of the application. In this scatterplot example, there is also a surrogate defined for the axis of the plot, allowing the user to change the mapping for the graphical X and Y dimensions. This star plot visualization of a serial data set uses a similar concept. There is a surrogate for the individual star plots where the user can change parameters of each plot, such as color and dimension mapping. There is also a layout surrogate that exposes intangible parameters that do not have a visual representation, such as the spacing between plots, the labels, and the layout of the plots. Finally, this example shows our surrogate vector drawing editor. Here, the user can draw shapes using normal tools. The shape types are organized in a class hierarchy, and selecting a shape will yield a surrogate that allows the user to change its graphical attributes. Selecting several shapes will narrow the surrogate to the closest common shape in the hierarchy, in this case the shape base class. This surrogate allows the user to change attributes of the selected shapes that are common to all shapes. Surrogate interaction has already been utilized in other domains. In this role-playing game, Warhammer Online, the user is changing the equipment of his character by interacting with a paper doll screen. The paper doll is clearly an instance of a surrogate because changes to the doll affects the character itself. 